What's up everybody? Today's makeup tutorial is this simple eye and bold lip. If you guys like this look, then please keep on watching and I will show you how to do it. So I already have my foundation and brows done, um, but we're gonna start off with this eye primer. It's the MAC Paint Pot in Soft Ochre. Basically, this is going to allow all of the shadows to really stick to the lid and also helps the shadows to appear more pigmented. I love these paint pots by MAC. I have a whole bunch of different colors and all of them do a really good job of setting the eye shadow and making colors appear more vibrant. All right, for eyeshadows, we're gonna use the Urban Decay Naked 2 palette. We're gonna start off with the color Half Baked, which is a beautiful, bright gold color. And I'm just gonna be applying that all over the lid as a nice base color. So we really wanna keep the eyes simple and bright. So by putting that on the lid, it just really opens up the eye area, makes them seem bigger and brighter, and it's just a nice pop of color without being dark. I'm also going to be using this pencil brush and applying it underneath the eye as well. Next, I'll be going to the highlight color in the palette, which is called Booty Call. Love that name. And we're gonna be popping that on the inner corners of the eye. Again, this is going to brighten up the eye. Then I'm gonna be going to my MAC highlight color in vanilla. And I'm going to be placing that on my brow, brow bone as a highlight. This really lifts the eye area and opens up the eye. Next, we will be going to MAC Inner Corner Highlight in the color Nylon. This is my favorite inner corner eyeshadow. It really brightens up the eye area. It's not shimmery. It just, it's like bam, it just brightens it up. I love it. Now, Makeup Geeks eyeshadow in Peach Smoothie. We're going to put that in the crease. So I'm using a blender brush and really just going in back and forth motions and just putting that through the crease. It's not too dark, but it just gives the right amount of color to create that depth in the eye area. Because again, we want to keep this look really light, but still add a little bit of a depth and, and enhance the crease area without making it look dark, which is why I love Peach Smoothie. Now we're on to Max eyeshadow in the color Wedge. This is a neutral brown color. It's a medium deep color. Not too dark though, but again, we're just gonna use a MAC blending brush that's a little bit smaller to get more in that crease. So it's a, it's a really good neutral. It's not too warm and it's not too cool. I think that's why I use it so much because it's right in the middle. And it's a really good blending color and I use it a lot. So again, we're just going in back and forth motions and really putting it in that crease and just blending it out. Blend, blend, blend. That is the key here. I'm just going back in with the Urban Decay half Bake color on the lid just to make sure we didn't blend those brown colors too far down. Now I'm going to use NARS eyeliner in the nude color. We're just putting it that in the waterline. This is really going to help open up the eyes and make you seem more awake. It also cancels out any redness you might have in the eye area. So I really love these NARS eye pencils. They don't transfer onto my contact lenses, which is awesome. Going back in with Wedge, and we're going to be placing that underneath the eye. Um, this is just going to create a little bit of depth under the eyes. And instead of making it all just seem light under there, it's going to create a little bit of a transition um, in the eye area. So I help, I've noticed that this really helps shape the eyes and just makes it look better whenever you're doing a simple eye look. I like to add that step. Just blend it out again. And we're going in with my favorite mascara ever, the L'Oreal Voluminous Carmen Black Mascara. 
I don't know what I would do without this. So just going to wiggle the wand at the base of my lashes and apply about 10 coats. <laughs> oh, yep, and great, got a little smudge there on my eye. But as you will see, we can fix that with a Q-tip. The key there, you guys, is letting the mascara completely dry as long as it's not waterproof. And then after it's dry, just grab a Q-tip and swipe it over the area and it'll come right off. It works for me all the time. Yep, I'm dancing. Listen to music, obviously. So there we go. Just take that Q-tip and it comes right off. Now we're going to use Max Pro Longwear Concealer in the color, let's see, what am I using? I'm using the color NW20. And we're going to just clean up the under eye a little bit and brighten up the area, conceal any dark circles. So I like to place it and then use this brush just to kind of blot it out and just make it smooth it out a little bit. I tend to find this helps me a little bit better than using my fingers, especially because I have nails. So I don't want to point myself, poke myself in the eye with my nails. And here I also am just doing a little bit of highlighting and blending it out um, just to really bring those high points of your face forward, which is going to help whenever... I do contouring, which you'll see here in a minute. All right, now on to Bare Minerals Concealer in the color Well Rested. I just use this to set my under eye concealer so it doesn't crease. It also helps just to brighten up that area. I love this stuff. But make sure you don't put too much on because you don't want your under eyes to look cakey or dry out. So it's definitely the key with this product. A little bit goes a long way. And then if you want, you can just use whatever's left on your brush and go over the middle points of your face. On to bronzer. We're going to use NARS bronzer in the color Laguna. And I like this bronzer to really warm up the face a little bit. So I don't use this as much for contouring because there is a slight shimmer in it, but I do use it to do an overall warming up the face making it seem a little bit tanner, especially since we went in and first did the highlighting and really brightened up and lightened the middle areas. I like to use this to go around the outer areas of the face and just warm it up a little bit. So NARS Bronzer in Laguna is my favorite bronzer. It's probably one of my Holy Grail products. Love this stuff. And I'm applying that with the Sigma Large Tapered Face Brush. Now on to Too Faced Chocolate Soleil Bronzer in Medium Deep. I love using this with the NARS Eda Brush. Um, this bronzer is great for contouring. And it smells amazing. I love this stuff. It doesn't have any shimmer in it, so I love to use this for contouring. It's a medium deep color. I find it's not too dark to where you look muddy, and it's not too light. So you don't have to keep applying layer after layer to get the desired look you want. Uh, here, I just fast forwarded through this contouring part. If you guys want me to do an in-depth contour and highlight video, let me know. I can do that for you in a separate video. All right, this looks really crazy. <laughs> now I'm going to be using this e.l.f. face powder and a large powder brush. And I'm just going to be blending out that contour and putting some powder on the center points of my face. I am crazy about blending. I blend, blend, blend all the time. <laughs> now we're going to be using Max Blush and Harmony and putting that on the apples of the cheeks and just blending outward. 
Harmony is an amazing blush if you're going to be doing a bold lip because it gives you a little bit of color on your cheeks and adds to the contour without being a really bright color or something that's going to interfere with your lip color. Now we go on to highlight. I will be using the Bobbi Brown Shimmer Brick in the color beige. And you guys, I am obsessed with this highlighter. I love it. I got it a few weeks ago and I literally have been using it every single day. Obsessed. And I've noticed in pictures it just gives the prettiest glow. So yes, gotta have it. Now I'm going back in with wedge and just deepening up that under eye portion on the outer three quarters of the eye. I felt like after I contoured it didn't wasn't showing up as much as I like so I went back in. Now I'm with lashes. Hmm, I can't decide. Both of these are by Ardell. But I think I will go with the Demi Wispies. <laughs> now the lashes are what is going to make this look. So I'm going to use my Waterproof Duo Eyelash Adhesive. Apply it to the band of the lash. And let it dry for about 30 seconds before placing the lash onto my lashes. This really helps them adhere to your lashes and makes the process a lot easier. By allowing the glue to dry for about 30 to 45 seconds, it makes the glue become more tacky rather than liquidy. So when you put the lash band onto your lashes, it sticks a lot better and you're able to place it where you want it to go and have it stick rather than just sliding off or not staying where you want it to. So here I like to use my tweezers and after I have it set, I just use them to move around the lashes and help them connect with my lashes. Onto the lips. This is NYX lip liner in the color 834 Prune. This is a deep plum color and I like to use lip liners when I'm doing a bold lip because it really helps to outline the lip and it makes it a lot easier to fill in the lip with whatever color you're going to be choosing. So I spent a little bit of time going through and I am going to overline my lips a little bit because for real, who doesn't want to have bigger looking lips? I mean, I do. So <laughs> I'm going to do this process and then go in with the lipstick after. Make sure you get in those inner corners of the lips. It can be kind of tricky, but a lot of times I notice if people miss that area, it just doesn't make the lip look complete. So definitely make sure you get the entire lip line. And then also I will be filling in the outer edges of the lip. You can fill in the whole lip if you want, but I'm kind of going for an ombre look, so I'm just going to be doing the edges. Alright, on to Sephora Lip Cream Stain in number 7. This is a dark purple. It has a slight shimmer to it, but Honestly, I don't notice the shimmer that much. And since we line the lips, you don't have to spend as much time filling them in. It makes the process easier. But I will go in with a lip brush, as you can see here, and just do any fine tuning. Now I'm going to be applying a second coat. This will help just deepen up the color and make sure it really lasts. And there's that awkward open mouth face. <laughs> Sorry guys. Now I'll be using the Sephora Cream Lip Stain in the number one. This is a red color and I'm just going to be putting that on the center of the lips to create that ombre effect. Now, back in with a little bit of mascara. This is Calvin Klein Mascara, and I forgot to do this step earlier, but really it just seals together your lashes with the falsies, and I feel like this step just makes it look that much better. Alright guys, that's the finished makeup look. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed and learned something. Um, if you like this, please like the video, thumbs up, and subscribe. Have a good day, everybody.
See you later. Bye. No, you're good. Good. I'll probably be ready in like 10 minutes. Yeah. <gasps>